Hey yo, so today we're looking at how to print from a Notion page. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you might want to do it from your browser or from your Notion app, depending on what you use, this one right here. Um, I suggest going from the browser, but you might be used to using it from the app that's installed on your desktop. But anyway, this one is faster. I'll, you'll see in a second why. Make sure you have a look at the timestamps below to see which one applies to you. It's pretty straightforward from the browser and that is you click file in uh, in the navigation bar in the tab bar whatever this is called and you click print or you just command p or control p if you're on a uh on a windows machine and right here under destination you will have your printer now i myself don't have a printer but this is how i would go if i would have one and i'll be looking to print something and that's pretty straightforward now from the app itself, you can't, at the moment at least, you can't directly print as straightforward as it was from the browser. What you want to do is click the three dots in the upper right corner and we'll first have to export this right here. We want to export to a PDF. Um, we want to include everything in the page format. You can go for A4 or A3 letter, whatever size you have. I'll go for A4 because that's the most standard one. I want to keep scale percent 100. And bear in mind this, including sub pages, this only applies to the enterprise plan. Oops. You will probably see. There we go. So we have we have to pay $25 a month. Uh, just just to keep in mind, if you want to include the sub pages, if not, you have to go for them one by one. But for most use cases, probably you're gonna to have to print just this. So I'm clicking export, waiting a tiny bit, selecting where this goes. And I just put it now on my desktop. Now you could, depending on what you use, um, you could print it from there. There's, there's nothing like this from the beginning. What I usually do to keep it simple is I just drag and drop it in my browser in Chrome because they have a lovely button right here, print and that's it there you go once again destination select whatever you having um and this is this is as simple as it could be now that was the guy